We live, baby. Oh, my God. Long time no see, my G. How's everything? Everything's good, man. Chilling, man. It's a little cold over here, but it's all goody. Really cold out there, man? Not compared nah, to nah. out here, man. Nah, nah, nothing like God, man. Yeah, but, man. But, uh, I feel you, though. <laughs> when I was out there, it was cold for a minute, like around this time, January, February. It gets to like the, the 50s and shit. Yeah. Shit. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's like, it's a 50s. It's around the 50s, 60s right now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. So you out of, you out of Florida? Yeah, yeah, Fort Lauderdale, Miami. Oh hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. I used to live out there in uh, Broward, Miramar. Oh yeah, yeah, that's where I'm at right now. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. I was over there when I was out there. I was in Margate by Sample Road. Sample yeah, yeah, Sample Road. That, that, that's where I live at in Sample. That's crazy. Okay, that's crazy, my G. So yeah, so yeah, let's yeah. get to it. Let's get to it, my brother. So. Oh. Who is Cha Cha Charlie? Cha Cha Charlie. Who Cha Cha Charlie? That's a good question. There's only one way to answer it, and that's by putting the the gimmick, the hat on. That it's Cha Cha time. Yeah, Cha Cha. I like the Cha Cha. Yeah. Yeah, Cha Cha Charlie. You know, it, it it's um it's basically me. It, it's us Latinos. It's um. Us Dominicans, you know, you know, when it's time to turn up, it's time to turn up. Yeah. And uh, that's basically Cha Cha Charlie. When when it's time to turn up in the ring, it's time to fight. It's, and it's time to have a good time regardless. Because, uh, you know, when I'm fighting, I'm still having a good time. Yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah. Dope. that's what's up, my brother. And that's so, amazing, man. So how the did... Dominican wrestler, man. Dominicans I, I, when, on when, when Nitty gave me one of this, and he's telling me, yeah, this is a small world, comes from, a man coming from the heights is just crazy. Like, it's a, it, I never heard of this. This is this is so dope. Yeah, <laughs> I wish I knew of this a long time ago. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. he's been doing it for a minute, too. Yeah, it's different. You know, when we grow up, everybody wants to be a rapper. Everybody wants to to do beats. You know, it's, it's it's the same thing over and over again. I was a little different. You know, I was like, you know, I was into the whole wrestling, the whole fighting scene, and um, you know, it's something that no one was doing in, in in our neighborhood. So I was like, let me take it another notch, and and let me see how far I could go in, and and it's taking me real far right now. So sky's the limit. Yeah, we love well, proud of you, baby. Yeah, man. We're real proud yeah. of you. We're real proud of you. So, um, what makes you, aside from everybody else, and who inspired you coming up, like your favorite wrestlers? Well, growing up, uh, I used to watch Hulk Hogan. He was my hero, my icon. Um, you know, he was the ultimate good guy. When he turned into a bad guy, you know, he made everybody cry, hurt feelings. Um, right now, you know, that that's the route that I'm going. I'm, I'm a good guy. I like making everybody happy. I, I do it for the kids. I do it for the community. I do it for, for our people. I do it for everybody. So uh, as of right now, he's a good guy. I don't think I want to go bad guy. That no one has provoked me yet. But good guy's the way it is. Um, my my uncle was a, a Dominican wrestler too. Um, he used to wrestle with Jack Manano. So it's in my blood. Um, I used to watch him wrestle Jack Manano when I was a little kid. Um, what was his? So it's in the blood. It's in the back. What was his name? His name is La Momia. His name is La Momia. Okay, La Momia. But um, he used to wrestle against Jack Veneno. I, 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 he was one of his opponents all the time. And uh, he used to take me to the shows. I used to watch him. So imagine watching a, 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 your, your superhero live exactly. uh, instead of on TV. So, you know, it was as soon as I saw it, I was like, you know what? This is what I want to do. And, and it came late, but it happened, right? No, definitely, yeah, definitely. And yeah. I used to see you on the block all the time practicing the, the moves on everybody in the hood, yeah, at, the, yeah. at the band, when we used to play in full drive, all that. You feel me? On the block. So I already seen your vision from the jump. You know what I mean? I, I, I was practicing, but it was a real fight. It wasn't, it wasn't no, definitely. like that. Nah, I already know how we get <laughs> down out there. Um, so yeah. I wanted to ask you, so what What are your some of your power moves, the finishers? Tell me about uh, those. I, I got the, the, the cha-cha elbow, you know, inspired by The Rock. You know how The Rock does the people elbow. I do the cha-cha elbow, and I get you, and then I get right on top of you, and then cha 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 hit the ropes, and then bam, hit you with a elbow. Uh, 
one of the, the frog splash, but I call it the mongoose splash for our Dominican people. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. the mongoose splash. Mongoose splash. Uh, what other moves? I have the Caribbean backstabber. So, you know, you, mm. you fuck with me, I'm going to backstab you. Yes. Latino. Uh, <laughs> Get off. You know, some, some of the moves, I, I got a lot, of, a lot of stuff in my arsenal. I practice uh, every week. I'm always practicing. I'm always learning. I still watch wrestling. Yeah. You know, I pick up little things. Uh, that way I can, you know, use, use a lot, utilize it on my um, on my matches. Definitely. So I do a little work. And I'm sure, of course, when everything's all said and done, we're celebrating and dancing all night long. Mm -hmm. I Doing like that, man. We could get down with that. We could definitely get down with that, man. Hell yeah, man. So actually, you know, um, I, I went that route. I did the, I, I like to rap. I do the beats. Um, but that's why we almost yeah. came up together over here with Dima TV, me and Nitty. We knew we were so much more than that. And we also knew our uh, group of individuals that we just personally know on a daily basis or know from a long stretch or from up the way. They, they talented in all kind of arenas. Um, and this is why we're so glad to actually have you here and be able to talk with you today, man. Uh, it's, it's pretty dope to see yeah. people doing things outside of the norm. And um, being successful yeah. is, is something else. That's like a, you know, you yeah, call you, you can call it, yeah, it's yeah. like the metal on top, you know? Yeah, so, exactly. Only you could call that. Yeah, that's a I, I, mean, I didn't expect it to go so far. Um, I, th I was just playing around with it, you know, see where it take, took me and... and out of nowhere, I started building fans. People started adapting to to my character. Uh, people started loving me from all over the, the world, all over the state. And I was like, "Damn, I have something here. Let me let me run with it. Let me see what I can do. Let me market myself." And and that's what I'm doing. You know, I'm, I'm marketing myself. I promote myself all the time. I have people helping me. Um, but yeah, and, and not that there's nothing wrong with rapping, nothing wrong with beats. Uh, you know, doing all that stuff. You know. It, you just have to have something. You have to be different. You have to stand out. You yeah, have to, you um, be true to yourself. Yeah. Right. Exactly. So, yeah. So yeah, no, no. That's why I'll never, I'll never drop a mic or a beat. You know, something that I, I really took with me. Yeah. And yeah. I see a lot of people. They say they took it with them, but I ain't see they take it with them. So, you know, I, I know what that's like. Um, I appreciate that though, man, because it almost for people that feel like, hey, you can't do that. You can do whatever the fuck you want, man. That's yeah, amazing. There's inspiration man. and motivation. That's that's all. And we, we need yeah, more you, of that. We need to hear it from other people, man. You know. Yeah, it's just you know, you got to be different. Uh, the, you know, if you're a character, you know, you have to build a character, a persona. You you got to have something that 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 the, that people want to keep watching you and keep keep hearing you and and whatever it is is. Got to keep pushing forward and, again, just be different. Oh, Definitely. Yeah, man. Um, I want to talk a little bit, um, just sidetrack real quick. Uh, How does it feel as life as a dad and, and doing your, your wrestling and all that? Um, he, the real reason I started wrestling was because of him. Um, when he was born, uh, I got presented the opportunity of becoming a wrestler. Um, that that's when it happened. Uh, you know, life life is, is a lot of miracles out of you, and and the opportunity was was presented to me while he was being born. So, and I was like, man, this is what I want to do. I want to be the uh, superhero to my my son, and um, I want him to look up to me. And and, and what a better way than seeing his own dad wrestle? You know? Yeah, definitely. So that's dope. So yeah, and, you know, I, I love my son. Uh, you know. He's, he's, he's autistic, um, but even more of a reason for me to keep going, you know? Yeah, no, definitely. Uh, definitely. And that's great, so man. Like, and I, I see it, man. You're, you're a great dad, man. And I, I just salute you because, you know, where we come from, you know, a lot of us didn't grow up with our dads. And it was hard. And a lot of us took messed up routes because we didn't have that guidance. So it's like I see how great you are, you know what I mean, in all fields, and especially as a dad. So I wanted, I wanted to Hell show yeah, recognition to that, on, on the show for that. You know what I mean? Yeah, we need more of that, man. For real, fast. I'm a father of uh, three myself, two of mine, but three three at home. So it's, uh, it's something that, you know, we need to see more of. I didn't have much of that at home, but uh, I am in good shape with my pops nowadays. Thank God for that. You know, shout out to him. Um, you know, I salute you. You know, I need to supply that and to see other people doing that's another applause. Yo, my brother, we're taking a 10 second break just because the video's gonna cut off right now, right? All right, cool, cool. So you ready? No. All right. Y'all, we good? 
Yeah, we're good. We're back. All right, we're back. My bad about that. Right. Yeah. Oh, we back. We back, baby. We back. Live. Ten, Charlie. Ten, 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 ten minute segment. Char Char Charlie. Man. Yeah. Um. So I wanted to get into it right now. How was the transition from the Heights to Florida? Because me myself living there, it was, it was a wild transition. Oh. 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 Um. Yeah, you already know that. That's the song I always come out to. As soon as that, that, that song dropped, everybody yeah, knows Cha Cha busy. That's the new shit right there. You see, hashtag Cha Cha gets busy. Yeah. Cha Cha gets busy. Let's get it. The new hashtag Cha Cha gets busy. Cha Cha gets so, busy. Um, <laughs> so, how was it the transition from the Heights to Florida for you? And um, why. Uh, you chose that market in Florida as opposed to other markets elsewhere for wrestling, for indie wrestling. And if there is other markets in indie wrestling, so you can educate us on that. There's a lot, the market is actually pretty big. Wrestling is getting even bigger now. Uh, there's a lot of opportunities. There's a lot of options. There's, WWE used to be the main place to go, but now it's not. There's a lot of options. There is um, AEW, which is their competition. So if you don't make it in the WWE now, you gotta go. You could go to AEW, make a good living over there. You got Ring of Honor, Impact Wrestling, uh, NWA. Uh, there's just so much. There's uh, New Japan Pro Wrestling. There's Mexico uh, AAA. There's just so much where you could actually make a living off of this. Um, and even staying in, in the indie circuit, um, if you market yourself right, if you promote yourself right. Um, you, you can make you can make a good little living off of this. Uh, why why I chose Florida because uh, I was always cold in New York. You know we always still, <laughs> Facts. Facts. we were in the school, we would always hang out. I was always the one shivering and I was like get me out of here. <laughs> well, I'm afraid that's the same way why I moved out there too. I can't take it and I'm thinking about moving back too, man. Cause it, it's getting brutal. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, so that, that, that's the reason you know the weather. Um, I didn't know the the the, the rest scene was so big over here but it's it's huge it's wrestling everywhere every weekend and uh now promoters are hitting me from all, all over contact me to see if i can wrestle for their promotion and uh that's what i'm gonna do man you offer me a nice little contract i'm i'm in there that's wonderful Fire, man. um so i want to talk about your upcoming event december 7th this weekend, this Saturday, Woo-hoo. let's talk about that. Let's talk about your opponent, and let's talk about how you've been training. I know I spoke to you yesterday. You was in the gym training. We spoke real brief. So tell me about that. Yeah, uh, this Saturday, December seventh, uh, I face uh, my my boy who used to be my boy who betrayed me. The oh. big bad, five hundred pound, six five, uh, the Jurassic Juggernaut, Vince Steele. Um, oh, man, I just seen that video. He threw you up in the sky. Now, there's your boy, right? Oh, yeah, that was my boy, crazy. man. That was my boy. Oh, uh, the, you know, you. Yeah, I keep him at, <laughs> at an arm's length now. Yeah, now, and that's what it is. It's a grudge match. He betrayed me. Um, you know how the story goes. Uh, so now I gotta get, I gotta get payback, you know. I, I was there for him. I had his back. Then, you know, if you watch the video, he kind of fucked me up. Yeah, and now um, I'm looking to get right in. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, so imagine, man, that guy's 500 pounds. How, how do you train for someone that's 500 pounds? Yeah, man. And, and that's, that sounds tough. he doesn't go, he's not just 500 pounds, big fat blubber just sitting there doing nothing. Mm-hmm. This guy can move. This guy could, could fly. He does, uh, uh, he does most of the, the things that luchadors do. Um, for man his size, they call him the best big man in the business, uh, and there's a reason because he does things that that no one could do, and um, it's gonna be a hard match. I beat him the first time, but um, we know each other a lot, a lot more than when we first faced each other, so, okay, so it's gonna be a different ball game. I'm ready. Yo, it, you already know it's time. You got this, dude. You got this you in the pocket. Bro. You got this in the pocket. You know what I mean? <laughs> yo, yo, how, how, how tall are you, bro? Um, on paper, I'm six feet tall. We'll take that, man. <laughs> take you that. only think you only you only got five on you, man. 
Yeah, that's nothing. That's white team. But when the team are probably all the same size. Okay. Amazing, man. So for our, our Demon TV viewers, um, we want to know um if you have any merch, uh, any websites. Your IG, uh, Facebook, anything you want to promote, just I mean, shout them out. We're gonna also have it on screen displayed as well. But yeah, I got the Tata Charlie shirts. Uh, the Tata Charlie shirts, you know, help me support. They're only twenty bucks. Uh, what else? We're gonna get the Tata Charlie hats. Uh, we got them available. I just, I just gotta put the Tata Charlie on them, and we're gonna be selling those. Uh, you can you can find me on Facebook, Tata Charlie, Tata Charlie TV. Um, if you go to my Instagram, it's it's Cha Cha Time. Don't forget the I T S. It's Cha Cha Time. Yes. Uh, you can see all my wrestling matches if you subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's Cha Cha Charlie TV. Again, Cha Cha Charlie TV. You'll see all the action. You'll see my highlight videos. You'll see my my matches. Uh, you know, you I, I control my own social media. So if you ever want to get in contact with me, it's not hard to find. Twitter, it's Cha Cha Time as well. Um, I already bought the domain chachacharlie.com. I own it. I haven't built it yet, but I do own the domain. So as soon as I got the domain up, uh, all my merch is gonna be there. Perfect. Uh, but as of right now, just contact me. I work with Cash App, Zello, PayPal. You wanna? They throw. They throw. Ya tu Tira mi dinero. I got you with the merch. Give me the guap. Yeah, we got you with the money, merch. Baby. We got you with the real cloth. I need the gouda. There you go. There we go. So, okay, I want to do a quick segue on, we're going to throw this all the way back, all the way back to don't hate on us. Don't hate on us. Charlie, now we're talking to Byron, the innovator. Byron, Byron. The innovator. <laughs> What's good with yeah. don't hate on us, man? I want to bring that back, man. You, you was a legend. All of y'all, all of us in the hood, y'all was the first ones doing this social media, like basically a reality slash, it was it was the illest shit ever in the hood on, on the Eminem network. Can you elaborate more about Don't Hate On Us? Hey, what, what was that, man? I, I never heard. You know what I'm saying? So, it was on the Eminem network. Yeah, yeah. Don't hate on us. Don't hate on us. Um, it was a Don't Hate On Us show. We used to have a TV show based on our life growing up in Washington Heights. Uh, it showed the good and it showed the ugly. It showed a little bit of everything. We were doing everything that you see on YouTube before YouTube was out. Um, we were doing a lot of crazy stuff, all the pranks, all that stuff before YouTube. And um, so you see a little bit of everything now on YouTube. It's because I, I think they, they, they picked up uh, a lot on us. Like, you know, the, the street boxing, the, the, the pranks that you see on stores. We used to do things like that. But, but that was my teenage days. You know, we were a little wild and crazy. Um, uh, yeah. but yeah, YouTube, uh, if you want to look it up, you go to Growing Up in Washington Heights, just put that on the search bar, Growing Up in Washington Heights, and, and you'll see the Don't Hate On Us show there. Uh, but yeah, I still have all the tapes, I have all the materials, you know how wild we were. Yeah. Um, so I, have, I, I would like to have like a, archives, yeah, well, I gotta have like, I really want to do like if, I know everybody got different schedules and you know, you're in Florida, we got other people in different states. But I want to see if we could try to like come together somehow and do like a, a revamp or something. Just just to pay tribute yeah. to that because that was that was iconic, B. Like for real, like for me, growing up in the hood and tuning on to that public access show, know what I mean? Which was, know what I mean? It was Ya, it was Mad Cyphers, Video Music Box with Ralph McDaniels, and um, another one that I, I can't remember. But it was those shows on, on there and... That was that was my childhood growing up. That was the culture, and I feel like we need to pay tribute to that because y'all y'all really That's was dope. bosses back then as as kids. B y'all saw a vision, and this is why so many of us are really doing our numbers in so many different fields and excelling. You feel me? And I feel that it yeah. was all for that. Yeah, thank you, man. Um, yeah, I'm with it, man. Uh, I'm down to to contribute or help any way possible. You know, any anything anything to help. You know, the hood. Uh, I'm there for you guys. Uh, let, let's bring it back, man. Why not? Don't hate on us. The the, the new the, the 2020 New Year. The, the, the Netflix edition. <laughs> the day. Yeah. Right. Well, we just want to end it real quick with a demon. Yo, this is Cha Cha Charlie and you.
your Diva TV. Yo, Kevin Hanley, what's good? Hell yeah, <laughs> man. We need to redo it one more time because the shit stopped. <laughs> you feel oh, me? Oh, yeah, stop. it stopped right now, yeah, but we good. That we was good. perfect. Yeah, it was perfect. I was trying to grab it. But you know, we'll edit everything out. All right, my brother, uh, go ahead whenever you're ready. Get up, get me hand there. This is Cha Cha Charlie, and you're on D Man TV. Get up, D Man. D Man. Cha Cha Charlie. Yo, my brother, we do appreciate your time, man. I, yo, I learned a lot today here, man. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm gonna have to tune into a do a little history, digging into y'all a little bit more, man. And I appreciate Heights Legends. All my cousins and OGs come from the Heights, so when I get to see that, I get the love up there. Me and Nitty connect from a small world. Uh, his peoples was uh, my OGs peoples, and when I go up to 189th, he knows everybody more than I do, so it's, it's fucking bananas, so. I'm sure y'all come from the same cloth, uh, real people, and we appreciate you see you doing your thing. Uh, we appreciate your fatherhood, your your talent, your little wrestling thing going. We're gonna be tuning in on Saturday. Where can we tune in on Saturday for your fight, man? So, so it's gonna be the 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 fight is in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Um, follow me if you wanna go. If you're in Florida, uh, it's gonna be in Tamarack. Again, uh, I'm, I'm posting it, uh, the flyer, all, all over my social media. But besides that, for those who cannot make it, I'm going to do everything possible to stream it live on my Facebook. So uh, just send me a friend request, and uh, I'll make sure it, it's uh, we'll, 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 we'll post up the link as well during the, the fight. Yeah. And um, also stay tuned. You also have a fight with December 13th as well, right? December 14th, uh, I have another back in Um I have a few stuff coming up. Uh, January 11th, I'm, I'm going to be in Chicago. Um, I'm wrestling out there. Um, February February 22nd, something along those lines. I got Ohio, Cleveland, Ohio. I'll be there. Oh, so um, yeah. you, you booked, and we're, we're definitely going to be following you and going to be doing interviews and post-interviews um, after. This next match will definitely stay tuned and then talk to you and get all the results and post some clips from the fight. And um, okay, okay. I'm, I'm hyped, man. We got to do soon the interview him in person either when I go out there in Florida, which I'll be out there soon, or when you come to the hood. I know you said you're coming to New York um, in January for the contract, right? Yeah, so um, sometime in, in the early 2020, yeah. um, I'm going out there. I'm definitely going to wrestle. So... As soon as um I finalize the agreement, uh, I'll definitely be wrestling in New York City pretty soon. Yo. So stay tuned. I know my New York fans, all my New York people, all my Dominican, my Puerto Rican, all my Latinos to show up. Hell yeah. One big party every time Cha Cha Charlie shows up. Yes, sir. Fire, bro. Yo, I'm gonna need to learn that Mongoose Goose Splash. I want to perform that shit on the Mount Goose Splash. I know and it. not do the cha cha elbows because you know got, we throw the blows. Why not? If, if someone gets out of line, you already know the mongoose splash is coming. <laughs> the, the, the next one, you, you got to hit them with the cocotazo. You heard with the demon cocotazo. Uh, I'm going to put that on my arsenal. But everyone's telling me to do the cocotazo. I'm going to hit niggas with the cocotazo. For real. <laughs> that, that'll be the straight knockout cha cha punch. The cocotazo. Boom, my mouth. That's it. Boom. Hey. You dig? That's why I got this cushion, man. I'm tired of them shit. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, but yeah, my brother, <laughs> it was good talking to you. Um, soon, um, this week, prepare to be on En Directo, Ana Pereira En Directo Live with my mom. She's over there in Boca. I'm okay, okay. You in, so get prepared for that sometime this week. I'm so, always ready, man. Let me know when, when she's ready, I'm ready. Uh, if it's a Spanish show, yeah, it's Spanish. I'll still do it in Spanish. But you could it's all good. It. I, I know you you got it. Look, do, do my I got thing. It. I, I got, got it. everything. You know, if, if I don't get the words right, when we slang it, it's all goody. Claro. Yeah, too solid. But Tato, my brother, have a blessed night. Well, thank you, Good luck on your thank, fight. Thank you. We'll stay tuned. I appreciate you guys for having me. Thank you. I appreciate thank you for you, being man. here, thank man. You, bro. We Much love, man. For real, for real. Blessings, man. You know, man. Thank you guys. Much success. Demon TV. Stay tuned. Cha -cha subscribe. Cha -cha you know. Cha -cha gets busy. Cheers. One more time. One more time. Hey, 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 hey
Charlie, 35 minutes. I don't know if this shit caught the rest of the audio, bro. Oh, 28 minutes. Yeah. Cha-cha.